Hi, my name is Steve Redpath, Transuro Engineering with Sitting Guilds and, um, and EAL Electro Technical Training Centre. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate in this video how we test an RCD on an electrical installation. So if we're testing an RCD, that's there to protect for additional protection. There are three tests that we carry out, and that is we test the RCD at half of its rating. So for additional protection, the RCD must be rated at 30 milliamps, and therefore we test at half that, 15 milliamps, one times 30 milliamps, and for additional protection, we must test at five times that rating, 150 milliamps. So with our RCD tester, this is all automated. It will carry out all these tests automatically, and we test on the positive and the negative half cycle of the sine wave. So we simply need to go to a convenient point on a circuit that this RCD is protecting. So in this case, we have a socket here, um, which we can, sorry, wrong socket. Uh, we're going to go to the ring circuit that's being protected by the RCD, uh, which is on this B32 breaker. So we have the circuit energised. My meter is telling me we have a, a supply and we're ready to test. So this is an automated test. It will run through the half, one and five times uh, current settings. So I simply press the start and wait for the test to commence. So it's done the one test one time and it's tripped. We simply reset the RCD. We now do the negative half cycle. And now that's tripped. So we have two readings, one for the positive and one for the negative half cycle. Um, and that tripped in 17 milliseconds and 28 milliseconds. We then reset the RCD to carry out the other tests. So it's now carrying out the five times test. And that gets tripped at 15 milliseconds on the positive half cycle. and tripped at 5 milliseconds on the negative half cycle. And we finally do the half times test. So in this case, we shouldn't trip the RCD because it's half times its rating, 15 milliamps. So after two seconds, the, t the test completes, and then it automatically goes to the negative half cycle and applies the test for another two seconds, and the RCD doesn't trip. So we now have a set of readings for one times, five times, and half times. The values we record are the highest for the one times, which in this case is 28 milliseconds, and the highest for the five times, which is 15 milliseconds. And regulations stipulate that at one times, this type of breaker, the six one, uh, RCD 61008, should trip within 300 milliseconds, so we're well in there. And on a five times, BS7671 stipulates that it should operate in less than 40 milliseconds. So it tripped at uh, 15 milliseconds on the five time setting. So again, we're well in within limits. So that RCD conforms to regulations and is obviously therefore safe to use. We record the results on the schedule of test results that accompany the electrical installation certificate. And that completes the RCD test with one final uh, step, we must test the button, the, the, the functional test, we press the button to check that that uh, operates uh, uh, the RCD as well, and that completes the RCD tests. Okay, uh, that completes the uh, procedure. If you want to see more of these videos on test procedures, please visit our website at www.trans-euro.co.uk.